Thanksgiving is tomorrow. And while every year we tend to focus and discuss gratitude and about enjoying everything that we have in our life, this year is different. We're in the midst of a pandemic. Tens of millions of people are food insecure, are struggling to find their next meal, have been laid off, have loved ones who won't be at the Thanksgiving table this year either because they passed away from COVID-19 or because people just don't feel safe getting together and the CDC is recommending not gathering in groups. Our family has been affected not only by people we know getting the disease, but not seeing my mother-in-law this year, not getting together with friends this year. So taking the same old approach that we've always done with Thanksgiving and just sitting down to be grateful, while that would be fantastic, is a little disingenuous. This year is it's upside down, it's turned around. And I think it's important to recognize that. Not only because that's the reality that we're living in, but because not doing so and pasting over the challenges that we're having, papering over the challenges, challenges that we're all going through isn't healthy. I know in working with patients that some of the chronic diseases that I would help them treat absolutely had as an underlying issue, an underlying cause, pent up stress and anxiety that they, haven't, they hadn't released. They were papering over, smoothing over things in their lives that were problems instead of facing them. My wife Romy wrote a great blog about this un-Thanksgiving idea that I love and I'm adapting here. Uh, you can check out her work at RomyNewstat.com. But essentially what is important to do is see reality for what it is. It's okay, actually it's important to, to let things go, to let them out, to verbalize them. That things maybe aren't great this year. In fact, maybe things are awful for you. Maybe there's been hardship and heartache. To get it out, let it all out. Only when we do that are we gonna be able to relax a little bit more, take a deep breath, and actually recognize genuinely those things that we still can be grateful for. And open our hearts and open our minds to being thankful and enjoying what we have this year instead of focusing what we've all lost. And in that sense, I hope this Thanksgiving tomorrow not only is healthy and happy for all of you, but between now and then, and in fact, every day in your life, you don't ignore the challenges that are going on. You name them, you let them out, and then you take a deep breath and realize and recognize all the things that you still do have that you can be grateful for. Have a happy Thanksgiving.